So what's the best homemade fatwood? Fatwood in nature, or what we call fatwood, is the resinous wood in an evergreen usually found where there's a wound in the tree or the branch meets the trunk and it flares out and gets this bulb. This will get a lot of resin in it or down near the base of the tree where the roots flare out and that resin will ignite and burn even in pretty wet nasty conditions. After a bunch of videos showed up in my feed showing how to make fat wood at home, I decided to try the different versions, compare them with each other, and then compare them with my favorite fire starter which is a fire cookie. For my test I took a strip of white pine, it's one centimeter square, that is one centimeter on each side, and four centimeters long, that weighs one gram. I've made a bunch of these and soaked them in lighter fluid, paraffin lamp oil, melted wax, really hot wax, and pine tar. Now we'll see how they perform. In one of the videos I saw the creator collecting pine pitch off of trees and that looked like a slow and laborious process. That made me wonder, what's the point? Now, if you're putting that much effort into finding and collecting pine pitch just to take it, boil it, and soak wood in it, why not just put that effort into collecting the real natural fat wood? I didn't go out to collect my own pine pitch, but I did have this left over from an old boat building project. Tar being the operative word, it's really stinky and nasty stuff. Let's start at this end. Plain wax, one gram. Boiled wax, two grams. Lighter fluid, two grams. So we soaked up a little bit of lighter fluid into the wood. Lamp oil, two grams. We soaked up some lamp oil. Pine tar, one gram. Lighter fluid, boiled wax, plain wax, lamp oil, pine tar. Harder to light there. Come on. The plain wax doesn't want to light. There it goes. Pine tar lights pretty easily. Got the lamp oil and the lighter fluid up to about 10 centimeters here at 46 seconds. Well, less than two minutes and the pine tar is out. You can still see there's a lot of pine tar residue on this stick. It just didn't burn. Not volatile enough. It looks like the lamp oil and the lighter fluid are essentially out. They didn't even set their own sticks on fire, which, you know, see that wood that's all left unburned? Boiled wax, again, is doing better than anything. Even with this, you can see there's fair amount of unburned wood there. I suspect that would combust if it were in a fire that had started. I started this video basically with the same idea of how I compared the fire cookies or homemade fire starters that used cotton rounds and the different recipes for those and then also the video I made where I compare the different types of waxes used to make these fire cookies. Uh, but Honestly, very soon into this, another question occurred to me, which is, why bother? Superficially, having fat wood on hand conveniently that you don't have to hunt through the woods for seems to make sense. It seems like most people making fat wood at home use big chunks of wood like this. This is not really going to be useful for backpacking. If I'm at home, I have wood shavings, dry newspaper, cardboard, uh, wads of kindling like this, you know, 
I really don't need fat wood or an accelerant and if I did I probably have lighter fluid so I can just dunk a little piece of wood in it right there as I need it. If I'm car or boat camping same thing. I don't need to have wood that's been soaked in an accelerant. I can carry nice dry wood with me. Compared to the cotton round, the homemade fatwood, not really great. Mm -hmm.